All right, guys, I'm back. I have swatched all the colors. And I must say, I am totally in love with this set of watercolors. And I'm finding that I like the pans way more than the tubes. The tubes, it's just, I don't know. I think that I, I feel like that's a whole, tube watercolor is a whole different beast altogether. Um, I, I feel like these half pans are much easier to manage. Um, but these colors are extraordinary. And I'm sorry about the little oopsie. That is this color. Like I sort of stuck my hand in it and um, even my battery operated eraser did not get it up entirely. So that's just food for thought if you get this set that at least this particular color might not erase so easily if you make a mistake. Um, that's just food for thought. But yeah, um, th this these colors are absolutely extraordinary. I mean, not bad, right? And look at all those fluorescent colors. Um, I think my favorite colors, I, I really love this. Um, sorry, I'm having trouble seeing. Here we go. Scarlet. Uh, let's see. The violet and the deep purple. The grass green. Uh, let's see the sky the leaf green is good let's see if I can do this out just a little bit there we go um I love all these beautiful earth tones right in here it's great um the orange I mean geez I kind of like them all uh they're all actually pretty vibrant and I mean the fluorescents are like completely blowing my mind uh from the fluorescence cer cer cerise, I cannot pronounce that. Um, if anybody knows how to pronounce that, um, please enlighten me right there. <laughs> Sorry, the print is really small, but I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's a nice color. It's kind of muted for a, a quote unquote fluorescent color. But I mean, there's the yellow fluorescent leaf green. Uh, fluorescent green, orange, deep orange, uh, orange red, pink red, red, pink, reddish sand. That doesn't look like reddish sand, but okay. Fluorescent purple. That one right there, this one right here, makes no sense in terms of the color name, but the color's nice. Uh, blue fluorescent blue and then I guess this goes into the macaroon colors um, which I at the beginning of the video I was questioning and like what and then I see it's it's basically right here from here up to here because it did say that it had six macaroon colors so there's the yellow green light orange and there's that Cer Cerise name again. I don't know if I said that right. Um, light ultramarine, blue, and that's it for that. Now, but oh my gosh, these fluorescents are absolutely amazing. Oh, I oh, love them. Now, the metallics are far more subdued than I would have thought. Um, I don't know if you can even see it on the camera, but there, there's the metallic white. Uh, I mean, sorry. I don't know if you can. They're really subtle. Um, the yellow, the gold especially is pretty subtle. Um, silver and then multicolor gold. Oh, that's what this one is. Um, it's like a shimmery gold, I think. And then you got your metallic gold, uh, brilliant yellow, bronze, copper, light pink, orange red, heliotrope red, and there's a cerise or cer cerise, I don't know, uh, pink, mauve, purple, yellow green, leaf green, ver verdant. 
uh, pale green, which looks more like a turquoise to me, but here's the turquoise. These two colors would go gorgeous together. Uh, and then light blue, uh, deep blue, black. And honestly, you guys, this mauve is so subtle. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. This multicolor mauve, it's almost like a, um, it reminds me of the um, iridescent white that's in the uh, Faber Castell gelatos. That's what this reminds me of, this multicolor mauve. It's that white with that, like a shimmer of pink. Uh, uh, that's exactly what that reminds me of. Uh, the multicolor purple, it's kind of the same thing. Oh, wow, there's a multicolor blue. Yeah, they're all super pale, but pretty. Um, metallic blue, hooker's green, deep gold, muddy brown, rose yellow, light orange, deep purple, and red ochre. I mean, and the colors over here are white, lemon yellow, brilliant yellow, deep yellow, gem. Gamboge? Gam okay, that is one I have only seen maybe once before. Um, again, if somebody could help me with the pronunciation, I would sure appreciate that. Um, orange, brilliant red, vermilion, scarlet, light green. It's kind of like I had to learn the right way to say Karandash. And you would be amazed at how many people stumble over that like I do this and the uh, that other one with the C. <laughs> yeah. So we have leaf green, peak green, hmm. brilliant green, viridian. That's one of my favorite colors. Deep green, um, right here, and blackish green. Ooh, that's a nice color. Grass green. This seems kind of dark for grass green, but hmm. olive brown, lake blue, cobalt blue, sky blue, turquoise, Prussian green, phalo blue, and there's another one I had to learn how to say. When you, if you look at that right, sorry, dropped it. Um, here it is. Okay, the PH is pronounced like an F. Phalo. Um, so, yeah, there's some I figured out, and there's a couple, as you can tell, that I'm just still working on. <laughs> it's okay. Um, blue, gray, deep blue, brilliant blue, ultramarine, mauve, purple. That's a very, almost a neonish kind of purple to me, but, um, there's that name again. I don't know how to say it. <sighs> I don't know how to say it. C-E-R-I-S-E. -E. Okay. Magenta, deep purple, violet, flesh. That's kind of orangey and dark for flesh. I mean, um, I don't really feel like that's a flesh. To me, a flesh would have uh, more of a peachy look to it. Uh, this is more of an... I would say it's more of a medium flesh, maybe. But at any rate, that's their version of it. Um, orange, red, burnt sienna, sorry, burnt sienna, um, red ochre, sorry, this is burnt sienna right here, I'm sorry, uh, orange, red, and then red ochre, carmine, permanent red, crimson, yellow ochre, deep yellow ochre, brown, Brown ochre, burnt umber, one of my favorite, most versatile colors, burnt umber. Raw umber, Van Dyke brown, gray, and this reminds me more of a French gray. If I was going to label this as, as a cold, warm, or a French gray, I would say this definitely errs to the French gray side, but possibly warm gray, but I'm going to stick with French gray. Uh, Payne's gray. Deep black, I would say it's deep black. It's more of an ivory black, but again, that's my opinion. Red ochre, um, sienna, brown ochre, uh, sorry, brown ochre, 
brown, how creative, uh, blue gray, deep purple. Hold up a second. There's two carmines. Hmm. That's weird. Like a carmine, I would probably pick this one right here. That one, I don't know, maybe a deep carmine. I think that's a, I think that's a mislabel. You know, looking at it, I would label this a deep carmine. Because here's the deep green and the grass green and the deep purple. I bet you this is a deep carmine. Because it, it resembles the carmine, but it's a little more um, vibrant, a little deeper color. So I would hazard a guess that's a deep carmine. Whew. So, yeah, and I've already gone over these. That's blue and light green and light olive green. Yeah, they they messed this one up too. It says O O L I E R. They left out the V. Okay, yeah. Some typos in the worded. A lot of them, so... This, that kind of thing is bound to happen. It's, it's all well and good. But yeah, very nice um, gift set, all in all. I, I was actually pretty, for being, you know, Chinese and all. Because sometimes with Chinese stuff, it's a hit or miss, you know? Sometimes it's a hit, and sometimes it's a total miss. And this is the stuff the water brushes came in. There was three regular and three water. The water brush ones tend to come out pretty easy quickly the water does so I would be cautious on that but um, again this is the paper that they sent it's pretty nice nice and heavy I totally think it's suitable for watercolor I mean this is the box that has a little magnetic clasp which I really like it's a gorgeous box um, and uh, these are the colors and at first I thought I was getting 120 colors. I'm like, wow. But then I realized it it includes the watercolors, the paper, you know, the, the brushes. So I was like, that's fine. But yeah, these colors are like pretty amazing. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I, I doubt it comes in an open stock. I really doubt it. Um, but for $38 for the, the paper, the brushes, the uh, watercolors, a really pretty nice box, um, a really nice uh, water swatch sheet, um, nice good heavy water paper. I will say this though about the paper, it did sort of pill rather easily, and by pilling, um, let's see if I can explain this. Um, when a paper pills, uh, what that what that means is. Here, let me put this aside. And I'll, I know this is a side note, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, when a paper pills, what that means is... Let me just get a color where it shows easy. Okay, this should work. What you're doing is the paper is, of course, generally, especially watercolors, made of cotton. So, and I love this color, by the way. What you're doing is the paper is coming up. It's it's sort of eroding from the uh, in its terms of its uh, consistency. Its texture is um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's starting to peel. It, 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 and you can see the little clumps. That is basically the cotton fibers. Um, sort of clumping together and you know um, there now uh, hopefully you can you know basically you're eating away at the paper now also see if you can see okay you see the um right there hopefully you can see that um let's see there we go you see that that's that is the actual cotton fibers of the paper that have uh, peeled and come off of the uh, paper. And if, if I turn this over, you might or might not see through. Um, it depends. No, 
see, this is good paper. Um, now this paper didn't come from them, it came from Strathmore. Um, but you can see how it, it eroded and, and it clumped together and that's the actual cotton of the paper. So, that's what I mean by pilling. So, this paper pills a little bit easily. So when you do, if you get this sweat, this set, and I will try to, I will try to, since I can't do live, um, since I can't do live links, I will try to include a picture if I can get it to come off of my uh, computer, because sometimes taking pictures of stuff on my computer is a hit or miss. Sometimes the uh, pixels in the uh, thing, it kind of makes it look funny. I don't know how else to explain it, but um, yeah. So if you get, if you get this set, just be aware that it does erode a little bit easy, which means it might be a little on the cheap side. But for being what it is, I mean, it's pretty pretty heavy. It's I would say it's not quite a 300. It's somewhere between a 180 and a uh, I would say two something. It's in the two something range. But it's a pretty nice uh, swatch, you know. You can fold it up like this, and I can put this in my little wet media notebook, and I'm done. But yeah, these are totally worth getting. I would say this this would make an excellent, excellent gift set for somebody who likes watercolor, or um, a teenager that is just learning how to use watercolor, or even an adult that's just learning how. This would make an excellent, excellent gift. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth getting, guys. I mean, for being something that's totally, you know, generic from China, uh, it's not too shabby. It, it truly is not. I was very pleasantly surprised um, to find out how much I like it. The water-filled brushes are a little... Um, at least the smaller one that I had, the water came out super easy, even though I wasn't really put, e squeezing. Um, it was coming out a little bit too fast. So that's just a word to the wise. I wasn't pushing hard, anything like that. I think it's just, you know, they're, they might be a little on the cheap side. So that's just food for thought. But yeah, um, on that note, um, I will say goodbye and uh, there may or may not be a picture attached to this. If there isn't, means I didn't get time. Um, but if there is, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed my swatching and my review. Um, and please stay safe everyone and uh, blessings to all of you and uh, take care. Bye.